Is that the standard of cleanliness you want? So you're happy with the cleaner that rubs filth into your carpet? So where do you want the dirt? On the floor or in the bin? To get this job, you've got to ask yourself three questions. One, can you speak English? Two, can you stand upright? Three, do you own a suit? I've got to make a go of this. Just a bit of cash to get me back on my feet. You know, there are lads on this job earning over two grand a week. I'll give it till the end of the week. Or I'll get some work with my mates. There are no women on this job. You know why? Because women aren't hungry. What's he done today? He's not done out, has he? All that lad wants to do is get horizontal. You're the average couple, Mary, John. Be careful. <laughs> Don't pressure them. Don't scare them off. Use an icebreaker. Nice machine. I can't say I'm not envious. Oh, I've always wanted to, but these things are just pure skill. Don't you agree? Oh. You wish they could stay that way forever. Though this carpet's like a playground, I bet. Deep cleaning, Ed. Yes? Vibration principle. Go on. Well, it's like a bowl of sugar. When you shake it, all the lumps come to the top. Good. And? Sucks eight inches. Oh. <laughs> Very good, Darren. <laughs> so what line of work are you in, then? Establish their financial worth. Look for clues. Are they married? Stable family, disposable income. Anything else? It's an inflator and deflator. Good. Paddling pools, air beds, vacuum pack, freezer bags. Yes, and your girlfriend, Darren. Watch the clutter. Keep everything in the box till you need it and give yourself space. What's the focus point of the room? The telly. Right. Get in front. It's the caveman's fire. Everything's on you. Now use it. The crevice tool. Thank you, Darren. This company's been established since 1974. It's the only product this that we sell. This unit is sold in 39 the country, There's over 250 outlets now. It's a very popular machine. We sell between yeah. 7 and 8,000. Believe it or not, but one in three purchases. If I said we're on a par morning. with ICI collateral-wise. Anyone? Mm. Pet groomer. Cats, dogs, rabbits, they love it. Don't dem this, though, and uh, it's not recommended for small pets. Makes hell of a mess. So, dirt. What is it? Well, let's find out, shall we? Sell to emotions. Fear, greed, hate, disgust. Dirt. Dirty. Filth. Foul. Soiled. Clouded. Dark. Base. Beggarly. Low. Mean. Shabby. Squalor. Odorous. Infection. Germs. Disease. Death. Is that what you want in your carpet? Scalp massager. No, it's true. Endorsed by the medical profession. Activates follicles. Relieves tension. Can you do that with your vac? Lead them to their answers. So how will you do it, then? You don't know, do you? But always reassure them. I appreciate your honesty. Relax. Drop the shoulders. Have a little shake before you knock. If you're comfortable, they're comfortable. Smile, but don't push it. The grinning idiot never sold shit. You're a friend. An associate. It's just two pals talking. Cup of tea? Lovely. Thank you. Mind if I sit down? Go right ahead. It's free. It's easy. Who's selling anything? You're just talking. Most vacuum cleaners aren't, in fact, vacuum cleaners at all. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I mean, yeah, these, these things make a lot of noise. Yes, of course they do. But do they clean? Do they use a vacuum? You know, they, they, they think it's a secret, but in this profession, it's well known. In fact, we've got a name for them. We call them beta bars, because that's what they do. <clears throat> There's a bar, that's usually metal. It's quite literally beating your carpet. It's just, it's just pushing the dirt around. And then, where's this dirt going? In your bin? No. It's in the air. It's on your clothes. It's on your furniture. It's everywhere. In fact, it's actually reducing the life of your carpet. But you tell this to the average man in the street and he won't believe you or say something like, uh, how can these firms base their entire business on a lie? But this thing's big. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than both of us. Look, I'm, I'm not really supposed to do this, but... Have you got any salt? Never, never, never tell them the price before a dem. 
I don't care how sure you are, how certain you are of a sale, you can give them a clue, fine. But you walk in there and tell them it's £950, you're dead. Yeah, just keep going till you're happy when it's all gone. Now, would you agree that any salt left has been rubbed into the carpet? So if I find anything with my machine, it's going to prove your machine isn't working. Right? OK, then. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Of course it's a lot of money. Nobody's saying it isn't. But there's always a way. I mean, what's 50 quid, right? Anyone could afford a £50 note for a quality item. You add another, you've got a hundred. And before you know it, you're over 10% of the way there. OK, so what you're saying to me, in effect, is that your machine's noisy, it's dangerous, unhealthy, you've wasted time, you've wasted electricity, it's not getting into your corners, and even then, it's only grinding dirt back into your floor while simultaneously ripping fibres out your carpet. Shall I say it? I mean, someone's got to. It's a piece of shit, isn't it? Oh, you've just bought a new one. Oh, what a shame. Just think, if you had that £150 now and you hadn't spent it on some passing acquaintance, you'd be well on the way to owning a long and trusted friend. Guilt. Use it. Nobody likes to waste money. They're begging for forgiveness and you have the power to give it. Are you going to help them? Do you ever vacuum your bed? Follow me. Darren, what can you afford? Good. Richard, have you just made another significant purchase? Very good. Tony. So if it wasn't for that, would you have bought one? Exactly. Isolate the objection. Once you know the problem, you can work round it. Maybe Christmas is coming up, a wedding, a birthday. But if they think you care, you're bound to get further. What about after Christmas? Maybe they can afford one then. So a small deposit isn't going to hurt them now. Here it is. Do you want me to open it? The suspense. It's theatre. It's a magic show. Shall we have a look? Discounts are your secret weapon. Use them with care. Personalise them. Make them special. But always justify. It's your 50th sale. You just need one more for a fortnight in Mallorca. Your wife's having a baby. You're making an exception in this case. It's lucky they caught you today. But most of all, I shouldn't be doing this. Do you know what this is? No? It's body ash. You know, dead skin, sweat, filth. I mean, do you really want to breathe this in and out for eight hours? No? Well, that's what you're doing. Now that, that is, it's pretty disgusting to you and me. But to somebody else, would you believe that that is actually food? That is true. You don't believe me, do you? Let me introduce you. We work to an incentive scheme. It's better for you, it's better for us. The more you dem, the more you get. There are some guys out there doing so many dems a week, I don't even want to know what they're earning. Then you add your commissions on your sales and you're talking, well, it's enough, believe me. Obviously, this is magnified, but not by as much as you'd think. These things are spreading, and scientists are only just becoming aware of the problem. If you scratch, they'll scratch. I guarantee it. I tell you, when I first saw one of these things, I couldn't get to sleep. Welcome aboard. <laughs> I want five practice demos of all of you over the weekend. Family, friends, anyone. That's the whole show five times. But do it for real. I'm going to test you on Monday. And you never know, you might sell one. <laughs> so, lads. How are you going to get your leads? Your names, your addresses. How are you going to get them? Well, we thought that you were going to put... Why? Where do I get them from? Hey, under this desk, up my sleeve. You've got to get your leads if you want to do your pitches. Now, how do you get them? Darren? I don't know. You know what these are? These are Reggie's. All you need are three things. Name, address, phone number, that's all. 
leave the rest to us, we'll follow it up. Uh, there's no obligation and it's totally free of charge. Does anyone actually win? What do you think? Right, lads, take your time. You've got two hours. Uh, Twelve would do you for today. I've got a little bit of business down in Leicester, so I'll be back at about four, pick you up. Uh, if you finish early, there's a cafe just around the road. Uh, oh, and remember, whatever you do, don't mention vacuum cleaners. <laughs> All right, lads, good luck. <coughs> Hello, uh, sorry to bother you. Uh, you'll be pleased to know you've been entered into a prize draw. It's thousand pounds top prize. Uh, there's no charge, of course. Now, all I need you to do is just uh, pop your name and number down there and you could have a grand by the end of the week. Why not? Hello, yes, we're in the area. Uh, it's a free prize draw. We just need your name, telephone... No. Congratulations. Oh, sorry, is your mummy? No, no, there's no money involved, except if you win, of course. I mean, uh, nobody's going to turn the back on a thousand quid, are they? Apart from you. OK, thanks for your time. Bye-bye. Second prize, uh, it's a weekend for two in Chapel St. Leonard's. Ever been? Like a nice break for you and the wife. Oh, has she? Yeah, all right. I'm just trying to do my job. You know, earning a living. I'm going to try it sometime. Good news, you've nearly won a thousand pounds. All you've got to do is put your name... Your... Yeah, OK, OK. Oh, my step. <laughs> all right, see you later. Yep, all right, bye. Hello there. Uh, you've been chosen out of hundreds yeah, of names yeah, to... Uh, to yeah, enter our free prize draw. The first prize yeah, is £1,000. Uh, the second prize is a, a weekend for two in Chapel St. Landers. All you have to do... Right, boys. How are you done? Let's have a look. One, two, three. Where's the rest? Hey? How many have you got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I don't believe this. What about you, Richard? One, two. Oh, this is bloody ridiculous, isn't it? Hey? What you been doing? Are you taking a piss out of me, lads, or what? Is that funny? Are you taking a piss? I said 12 minimum, this is bollocks. Right, you've had two hours, what have you been playing at? Do you want to earn any money or what? Eh? Right, even with 12, only four at the most are going to turn into appointments, right? And then you're only going to sell one if you're lucky. Yeah, you're not going to shift shit at this rate, are you? Two? How can you only get two in two hours? Eh? I'll tell you, for your sake, they better be good, cos you're the one that's going to be selling to the bastards. Let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> you can forget that for a start, couldn't you? I told you packies don't count. Yeah, you want to pull your finger out, pal. It's still funny, is it? Eh? Right, you're all out on Dems tonight, right? You say you've got six o'clock to get 12 good names. No packies, no pensioners and no excuses, right? You understand me, lads? Yeah? Yeah. Two yeah. hours. Mm-hmm. 